Welcome to Maryland Bus Watches. My name is Craig Joyner. You know, I'm a former contractor of Baltimore City School Buses. I once provided a service to take children to and from school in a safe manner. I decided I didn't want to renew a contract with Baltimore City because of a lot of different things that um, goes on in the process of transporting students to and from school that I myself feel that is really um, unsafe for children or students. I'm making this video because I feel that maybe somebody will listen to it and they will get back to me and we can probably find some solutions to resolve some of the issues that goes on while transporting your students to school. First, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a uh, Working for, I was working for Baltimore City for as a contractor for a period of maybe seven plus years. I provided transportation. I provided the school buses. I did the inspections on my buses. I met their state demands and I met the Baltimore City demands as far as the safetyness of those school buses. I dealt with policy. I dealt with procedures. I dealt with incident reports. I dealt with accidents and accident reports. You know, I dealt with personalities of employees and personalities of the students. You know, I resolved some issues, some issues you take to the city that if you can resolve them and they find a solution to resolve the problems if they ever get resolved. Taking these children to and from school takes a certain kind of personality and a certain kind of person. Everybody not meant to be a school bus driver or monitor. But nevertheless, the children need transportation, so the city is doing their best to provide that service to you. Now, we all know that things take place on those buses, and you know a lot of things uh, by them having different protocols can't be resolved as fast as one think they can. But it's one that bothered me for the longest time, and I never could um, learn to accept. And that one is bus drivers, identification. You know, the way things are today and the different um, terrorist groups and gang groups and the personalities of people's changes, I think that our first priority is to the students on those buses. We focus on, all the time, the school itself. You know, putting police officers in the schools and uh, putting metal detectors in the schools, but no one has yet decided what they want to do with school buses. And I feel the first priority should be the number one is school bus drivers and monitors identification. It's a small world and things are happening every day. And if your children riding on those buses, I think that should be your first priority also because that tells you a lot about your driver and it tells you a lot about your monitor. One thing Pacific, I think, is that a driver and a monitor needs a badge displayed on their chest or uniform every day that bus is moving or they are picking up students. The reason for this, it proves to the parents that these drivers and monitors have met the criteria and standards and classes that they had to take in order to become a credible driver and a credible monitor. If they can't display this, then who will? Baltimore City has been going around for years getting away with this. Who's driving your children to school? There's nothing to show you that your children's being driven to school safely. It's not telling you that you don't have a pervert or a criminal driving your children to school because there's nothing to prove to you as a parent and at the school that these people has been certified by Baltimore City slash Baltimore County. You know, I feel that what people are doing, the things that they're doing, this is a fast-paced world. We need to focus on, number one, getting those drivers and those monitors badges with their pictures on it. We need to have on those badges their certification, you know, the time they were certified, and the expiration dates of the certification. For the driver, we also need to have on their criminal background check, that goes for the monitor also, a criminal background check on there to prove that they have went through a criminal background check and was cleared for it. We can't assume that 
groups because people are driving those buses that they are certified drivers of Baltimore City. We can't assume that and Baltimore City don't assume that. This is why I'm making this video because I know for a fact that Baltimore City is not knowledgeable to know all the information that's going on between all these different contractors. They have at least 300 buses out there running every day and these are not Baltimore City buses. These are contractor buses. There are loopholes out there. There are people out there driving your children to school without certification. And the only way we can stop this is we can get together, form some type of uh, organization, or I myself, Marlon Bus Watchers, can go out there and watch and monitor those buses and those drivers. You know, because this is, needs to happen. Anytime an organization will send you out and tell you that these guys are certified and monitored, um, I mean, certified for Baltimore City, then why you need to every now and then put a person up at the school, at the school to check their credentials. And the problem with that is when you pull a person to the side and ask them for their license and their, de um, their, de their uh, DOT card, that still don't say that that driver is certified. That is something that they give us all. They give us a driver license to drive with a P&S endorsement on the license. Then they give us a DOT card if we pass the physical. But that does not display uh, the criminal background check. That don't, they don't say anything about criminal background check. You know, it doesn't say that you took all the classes and you passed the classes. It don't verify anything. You know, I can grab a man off the street, put him in my bus because he got a P&S endorsement, and he passed the physical. But that don't make him qualify to drive anybody's school bus. It just shows that he can drive a bus. But legally, to drive a Baltimore City or Baltimore County school bus, you have to go through the classes. You have to be road tested. You have to have a certain amount of hours of road testing. You have to take a criminal background check. It's mandatory. You know, these parents today, they're accepting the fact that these buses are yellow. And by them being yellow and somebody's behind the wheel of it, that they certify. Parents are here to tell you today, that's not how it works. They're not certified. There are a lot of drivers out there driving your children to school every day that don't meet the certification of Baltimore City slash Baltimore County. We need to focus on getting those drivers off the road. There may be even drivers out there with criminal background that's not being told to you or shown to you because Baltimore City cannot control all the contractors that's out there with their buses. They can't control the contractor staff. They do their best that they they do the best they can to monitor it, but they cannot control it all. You got buses running all day long. You got buses running to the different schools. That's the regular route buses. Then you got buses running to cultural events. That's the events that's taking place during school sessions. Then you got buses that's running to athletic and athletic events, which means and charter events, which means those buses are running in the evening time. We need to put something in place to check those drivers to make sure drivers are certified to take your children to and from school. Those drivers have met the, the, the um, standards of Baltimore City and Baltimore County to be out there, and they are certified. Again, I, say, I stress the word certified, and I stress the word they have passed a criminal background check because you don't want to know anybody transporting your children, especially with the way the world is today. You know, this is Craig from the people, I mean, this is Craig from Merlin Bus Watchers. I, I don't know how to stress this. I do know how important this is, you know, because you don't have no idea what can happen, you know, in the course of transporting your children to and from school. But we know we need to check this, and we need to make this our first priority, you know, and we need to focus on this now. I'm telling you about this because I feel that, Nothing is turned over to the public unless it become an incident that the media picks up on. But I'm taking it to you now because I'm a former contractor and I know what's going on. You know, if it wasn't going on, Baltimore City would not be having every now and then people at the schools checking credentials. They know what's going on. We need to stop it and we need to go outside of Baltimore City to stop it because some things get slipped through the loopholes. You know, I remember one day they stopped me. I had several buses on the street for them, but this particular day I drove, and they stopped me at the school, and they only asked me for my license and my DOT card. But like I told the guy that asked me, 
I said, don't, that don't prove that I can drive this bus. How are you going to prove that I'm certified? He said, well, I'm going to call it in. So he called it in, and we sat there, and yet nobody ever answered the phone. So he let me go. I said, what are you going to do now? I'm just going to write your name and stuff down and let you go. This goes on all the time. This does not prove that this guy didn't come off the street, jumped on that bus, and driving that bus because he got a license in his pocket. Don't make him a driver. It makes him a driver of a vehicle, but not Baltimore City or Baltimore County school buses because it takes more than just a license. It takes a lot more than that. You know, so we need to focus on this. We need to act on this, and we need to protect our children, especially with the terrorists going on now and these other things that's taking place. This is Craig again from Merlin Bus Watchers. You can reach me at... 410-665-6889, 410-665-6889, or you can email me at cjoiner at merlinbuswatchers.com, cjoiner at merlinbuswatcher.com, because we need to focus on this. This is happening in Baltimore, Maryland. You know, we need to focus on this, and we need to try to come up with some type of program. I have came up with several, but... Um, Seem like to me nobody want nobody to come in and do anything about this, but sooner or later something's going to happen to somebody's children. I have more things that I disagree with that's going on within the system of transporting children to and from school, and I will be posting them on www.MarylandBusWatcher.com. Thanks for listening.